So with so many elements and the number of compounds that is possible, one of the most weird compounds that is known to man is water. Because it has some of the most bizarre properties. If you know that it is one of the only uh, 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 compound in the world that expands when you are cooling, cooling it down, right? Uh, 4 degrees to 0 degrees. So like this, water has a lot of strange behavior. One of those strange behavior is for water to behave like an elastic band. So imagine I've cut a balloon and I'm stretching that balloon. Now this stretched balloon in little, you know, nerdy term is called a membrane. M-E-M-B-R-A-N-E, membrane. So the thing with uh, water is that it behaves like a stretched membrane. Can you all see the film of water here? The membrane? Can you see the membrane from the side? Now, the thing is, whenever we are making bubbles, we always think of soap, right? But the thing is, soap is not really doing much. It's the water. What I have really done is, I have reduced the strength of that membrane because otherwise it will be too stiff. In fact, if you are jumping from a three-story building, if you are jumping in water, you are more likely to die than get a few fractures. Because jumping on water from a street, three-story three building is like jumping on a, on a uh, big slab of concrete. So that's how strong the membrane is, the surface of the water. So, so what I have done is I have just used some soap to create, to reduce that the strength. And now what I have is a very uh, stretchy membrane. So this membrane when filled with air can form these bubbles. Question. If I have a circular wand, I'm calling this a wand. So If I have a circular wand, what do you expect the shape of the bubble to be? What shape can I call this? Yes? Circle in 3D? Sphere, right? A flimsy sphere, but yeah, it will take its time when we are sphere. Now, what would happen, let's say, if I were to use a triangular one. What 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 would be the shape of the bubble? Sorry? Is it triangular? So the first curious thing about that is why is it on this? Very Right? That is something to wonder about. I'm sure you, you would have learned some explanations for this. Uh, at, at, at least the senior students, so I won't get into the technicalities of it. But I was very surprised to understand that the kind of concept that works for this also works for why planets are also spherical, almost spherical. And I was amazed by the connection. So I'll leave you to that and I'm going to quickly jump to the next. I'm going to make a few bubbles from this particular bubble position and that. And I want you to tell me what differences you notice. I'm going to use the same one. Okay, so this is the first one. I'm going to make a few more. Do 
you want a bit more soft shell, this is more bulky. Okay, then there is a very, uh, anybody, any, any other observations? Anybody? What about this duration of the bubble formation? Which one do you think will last it longer? Because this bubble is self-healing. It's, it's an amazing thing that uh, we are able to do. This bubble can heal itself. Okay? And the only difference between this, this and this is that I have added a polymer in this. Okay? A polymer is in the very, uh, in the most simplistic manner, is a very stretchy and rubbery substance that I have added to this. And that substance is guarda. G U A R G U M. It's used in uh, sweets to make, uh, it's like a binder. So I have added a powder to this. And the only, the only difference between these two is that this has that polymer, that powder. Okay, so that's why the, the bubbles here are celebrated. One more thing, can you also see that this, though there is some difference, these bubbles are different from the normal bubbles that you see. Could you take a guess what, what is the difference from the normal bubbles that you see? Can you make the bubbles this big from your normal soap solution? Right? Why do you think it doesn't happen? Why do you think you can't make? It doesn't stay, right? It just breaks. Well, the answer to that is simple. Evaporation. The bubble is a thin film, right? It's, it's a thin layer of water. Now what happens when I'm exposing it to the atmospheric uh, temperature and pressure? I mean, temperature here, it evaporates. So to slow down the evaporation, I have added glycerin in both. So glycerin is the first ingredient that helps you reduce the rate of evaporation, which means your bubbles stay longer. The second ingredient that I have added to that is war gum, which helps the bubble heal itself. That is, it makes it a little wobbly, but it makes it stay strong for longer. Okay, so enough science, now time for some tricks. Okay, if I am trying to make a bubble solution, uh, if I am trying to make a bubble, solution is something that I obviously need. But apart from that, to make the bubble, what do I need? Yes, the corn. What is that in that? Anybody? Three minutes. What do I need if I have to make the bubble? Solution of course, but what else? If I have to make one bubble. Instrument, okay, but what what is it about the instrument? Can I use any instrument? Can I use a stick to make bubbles? Just a stick? Then what do I do? Can I make a bubble from this? Does it uh, satisfy the requirement that we have? Is it a loop? Is it a closed loop? If you are not feeling loop, very not convinced, so let me show you. How do we need to do it? My Is this the end or is there more? 
Turns out there are more tricks. What do you see on the surface of the body? Yes. Yeah, you can switch on the legs. By the way, bubbles, I think they have a sense. They see and they, when they see you're excited, they try, try to Whenever I'm doing this, see, they like to show off. Whenever I try to make small ones, they really agree with me. Okay. Fine. 
any idea why I am doing this? So a trick that a friend of mine, a colleague of mine, my ex-colleague and I would try to learn is that you make a giant bubble and you try making a bubble inside that bubble. Okay, that's one of my favorite tricks. Let me try this. Okay. You wait now and Oh. 
Does the smoke have any way to escape apart from my leaky hands? No, right? Moisturize a bit. Did I show you some with my hands? No. Oh. That is interesting. I call this the bubble fly kiss. Okay. Very cheesy but very effective. Last two. 
good. Yeah. Last two things that I have to show. Now, Akabi and Rachid, go back. Go back, go back. Because this one is going to spray a lot of bubble on your face. Go back, go back, go back. Okay. Okay, let's see. Well, that, uh, of course, that didn't work out as I expected, but I uh, did account for the weather and I did my best. But thank you so much for uh, being so patient. Yes, Kabi, thank you so much. As a gesture of my love, I'll be donating the uh, bubble juice to the preschool so they can have fun. Thank you so much. 